do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. An inspiring Bible verse of Philippians 4 verses 13. Carrying this verse is our everyday motivation that in life, God always gives us challenges. And through Him, we can do anything. That challenge is nothing but to give us strength. There is nothing impossible to do with God. Hello, I am Kate Erika, Season 1, STEM student of Bulihan Integrated National High School. And allow me to formally address my speech to all of you. Pandemic won't stop achieving your goals. We all ask ourselves, what is my goal? At some times in our lives, life is pointless and thus in a circle with no direction if you don't have a goal. Furthermore, my life's goals instills and maintain discipline in my daily existence. I've been living for 17 years. I've overcome many challenges for the past few years. I have no reason to quit since God gave me this life and having it implies I have a purpose in this world, which makes my existence remarkable and unique. Despite the pandemic, I still have my goals. It will not deter me from pursuing it. It is not committed to other people, not to those who had a high hopes for me, but to myself and to my family. You, what is your dream? To be a doctor, a nurse, an engineer, or an architect? Everyone has a dream. They use it as an aspiration to fight towards in their daily lives. Giving up is not the answer. Otherwise, you will come to regret your decision. Because at the end of the day, you will despise yourself for not being able to do anything with your future. Ending up working in a tiny firm, earning at a minimum wage. Being unable to purchase your own house and yet live in a little me perhaps. There's nothing wrong with renting or living in a little property. But ask yourself. Ask yourself, it would be better if you pursue your dreams and have a better life now. There is nothing easy in this world. If everything is basic, no one will be challenged. And no one will make errors that force us to learn and grow. People would not put forth as much effort if everything was easy. And that is why God is giving us challenges. For us to be a better person. For us to go through hardships before achieving our dreams. Because hardship is an equal of rewarding. You, 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 you are a warrior. This pandemic is just a challenge to everyone. Well, this pandemic is really a burden to all of us, causing people to experience hunger, joblessness, and hopelessness. But to the fact, people are starting to adjust themselves, making a stand and inspiration to all of the Filipinos that despite this pandemic, they will continue to live and have a lot of ways to live because we Filipinos are ingenious. Actually, I am a consistent owner. And being one of the top students doesn't mean tasks given to us are not challenging. It is hard for us that people are always expecting us that we are good in all areas. Everything is difficult. There is nothing basic on every subject and we have our own struggles. We have our strengths and weaknesses. This pandemic gives us a hard time chasing our dream and makes other students stop studying because of lack of materials needed for the new modalities. Not everyone can afford gadgets as well as the internet. 
especially in the degree level. That is, they had to be in the modality of online class, which make them choose if they will continue or they will find a job to earn. In 2020, in the first year of opening, the classes with the implementation of the new modalities had nearly 3 million students forced to stop or to take a gap year. This is just show us how hard it is to be one of the poor countries because of the corruption and lack of the support of the government to its countrymen. In fact, most of my friends considered quitting school and going to work instead because I noticed many students have decided to stop and just work because they will make their own money, especially now that we are in the midst of the pandemic. They will have the opportunity to work and continue when face-to-face -face classes curtains. But yes, it is true that we junior high school graduates sometimes consider working instead of studying. But I have never considered doing that. I really wanted to work as a crew member of the fast food chains or in a factory. But I still want to pursue my dream. And I know that time will come that I will start as a working student. You can also be a working student but never stop dreaming. Working as a part-timer is only an extra income for ourselves, for some extra expenses, study needs, teaches us the budget, and most important to that is you will be learning to be independent. This pandemic also makes students enervated. Loss of interest in what is the lesson results in ineffective learning. It may sound unfair to us, but have you noticed that students who did not have any awards when we were still in the face-to-face -face classes are now running for honors? And those honor students are now the students in their situation of inactively participating in the class forcing themselves to enter in the Google Meet, sleep, do assignments without any effort, and their only agenda is passing the class with or without flying colors. Why did I say unfair? Because yes, some of them are talented and smart during the face-to-face, -face, but not they are too confident or showy. I may say they excel because this pandemic helped us to find our inner self and to boost our confidence. Another one is the unexpected persons. Knowing these people for a long time and being surprised that they are running for honors, but not deserving because maybe they are not the one who is answering their tasks or maybe paying for the betterment of their tasks. I'm not against it, but it is better if you were the one that is answering your mutual for you to learn and improve and prove to those people who do not believe in you that you can keep peace with other academically good students. To actually explain the grading system of the other teachers in the virtual classes, they may depend only on all of their written works and performances. They did not see if that student was really the one who answered it as. But yes, they can tell themselves if they were really deserving or not. To tell of all the students out there, talk to yourself. Convince yourself that this is a serious matter. Face to face or virtual, with the help of yourself, you can still achieve your goals. In this situation, you can actually improve and boost more than yourself as a student last year. Get out of your shell. Help yourself. Don't let your ego decide. Decide by your heart on what you actually want. Not to feel frustrated and resenting yourself in the future. Keep your dreams alive, understanding to achieve Anything requires to faith and belief in yourself. 
vision, hard work, determination, and dedication. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe. This is a quote from Gail Devers to attain your visions. You must believe in yourself. I had this experience when I was in junior high school when I was still in grade 9. And it was still face-to-face -face classes. And I had a hard time getting into my first class. My loved one was hospitalized due to internal bleeding because of his hemophilia. I usually pack my stuff before 5 a.m. Before 5 a.m. to be ready to travel to Philippine General Hospital. And it is located in Manila. Because I was not allowed to travel to Manila, I had to keep it from my parents. I'm often late attending the class and I'm worried about getting a failing grade on that one. To pay back, um, I always put so much effort into my outputs, makes my math teacher proud. That despite of my situation, challenges I am facing that time, I still manage to make my output excellent. In the 10th grade, the first year of experience online class, there were a lot of struggles when it comes to my gadgets and to internet connection. That makes me feel discouraged to do my tasks. But I end up motivating myself to continue. Two of my teachers are not teaching their lesson every meeting. That make me teach myself to answer my own activities. Despite the struggles, understanding the lessons, internet connectivity, and problems with my laptop, I still attain what I deserve. After giving so much effort and after those sleepless nights, I fulfill my goal to become a high owner. In that moment, I realize whatever we are going through, if we are determined to chase your dream, challenges will never be a hindrance to achieve it. Pandemic is not an impediment. If the challenges when we were still in a normal situation have been overcome, then you could also do that today. Despite the fact that our nation continues to face several problems, one thing is certain. We are now in a position to determine and concentrate on our capabilities. Discovering your inner self and knowing your true self. Upon finding yourselves, we came across to the talent we have that can be used for different various reasons. To inspire and to do business. You have already experienced a lot of challenges. But keep in mind that you have already conquered them. You have the strength and capacity to achieve your goal. To achieve your objectives. All you have to do is keep your eyes on them. We can be a vulnerable. Take some rest and chase your goals again. Don't drone yourself to flood. Keep going and lift yourself up. God bless you all.